Okay, CTO511987 says, So you don't think that Israel will be restored to God during the time of Jacob's trouble? Okay, so Jacob's trouble is referenced in Jeremiah 30, verse 7. It reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, that he shall be saved out of it. Okay, and this is in reference, uh, in context to the end of the world, the end time. Uh, similarly, uh, in, in Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, we read about the end of of the world okay this is also the latter days the end of the world and so forth so the kingdom of israel will be restored after the end of the world okay and also in acts 1 uh, they're asking jesus about this and he's and they when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying lord will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel and then Jesus says uh, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power okay and so on but this is parallel uh, to what he was saying here in like Matthew 24 for example but of that day and hour knoweth no man no not the angels of heaven but my father only watch therefore for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man comes, okay? So he's basically repeating what he's been saying uh, to them. Uh, you know, be ready. You don't know when he's coming, right? Okay, and let's see. Um, so, you know, the, the confusion on this particular subject is uh, there are people who are teaching that this is somehow not talking about the saved people. That this is talking about, I, you know, I'm not really sure. Uh, are they talking about 1948 Israel? Like uh, God's going to save those people that reject Jesus Christ? Why would God do that? That's not in the Bible. If you reject Jesus Christ, you're not saved. And that's pretty clear, isn't it? So then I'm guessing that they... Are assuming there's some secret unknown bloodline of people that are Israel and that that Christians are not Israel is what I'm guessing like there's two different groups two different ways to get saved two different paths to everlasting life uh, I, you know I can't really explain their view uh, you know um, the view that opposes what the Bible says but here in Jeremiah 30 uh, you know when it says but he shall be saved out of it this is talking about the saved people which would be the people who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ okay so there's not another way there's I don't know how else to put it there's only one way and that's to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ now in 1 Corinthians 15, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. So by this we can conclude that it doesn't matter what your skin color is, or it doesn't matter how big your nose is, it doesn't matter, you know, we all got the same blood. There's not like people out there with a special blood that's different than our blood and that they're saved just because of their blood or their blood type or whatever um, it's it's always been about faith we read that in Hebrews 11 right and then also um, it's important to understand that there is no respect of persons with God so there is not uh, well you guys reject Jesus Christ but I still respect you that's not that's not uh, that's not in the Bible at all right and uh, if you have respect of persons you commit sin so we're kind of told not to be doing that sort of thing aren't we um, 
So, I mean, to me, it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, here in Jeremiah and Isaiah and, and all, every other place, when it's talking about uh, the redemption of God's people uh, or the restoring of Israel or the restoring of the kingdom of God, uh, the saving of people at the end of time, this is always talking about those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There's nobody else that can save them. It's only by Jesus Christ that we can be saved. So I'm not sure if that answers your question exactly because there is a 1948 Israel and that uh, the people that reject Jesus Christ, they will say that that Israel was restored in 1948 and that's, you know, in the world today. Um, obviously, there's no biblical passage that supports the idea of Israel being restored in 1948. Um, we Christians are the nation of God. Back in the Old Testament, when this was written, for example, and they were speaking of Israel, Israel was the nation of God. They were God's people. And so now... If you apply that to today, all the all of us that believe in Jesus Christ, we are that Israel. We are God's people. We are that nation. It's no longer one nation of a group of people, but now it is a, that nation of God is available for all who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not sure. I hope that answers your question. I really do. Um, there's just no other way to be saved but by Jesus Christ.